Alright, so let's check out uh, this guy right here. We want to go ahead and solve this inequality. We've got fractions, we got the distributive property. Man, we got the whole hairiness in this guy. This guy is all hairy. I mean, look at this right here. Man, this guy's got a fro. Bust out the choppers, man. Alright, so let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and um, what we don't want to do is distribute seven fifths and then distribute two thirds. Let's actually get rid of our denominator. And what you want to do is you want to find actually the lowest common denominator. And the way that you do that is you say, okay, when does five and three match? You write out your multiples of five, five, ten, fifteen, and then write out your multiples of three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Aha! See how they match at fifteen? So that means that what what that tells us is that if we multiply both sides by 15, the denominators uh, will cancel out here. So, so I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply the entire left side by 15. I'm going to multiply the entire right side by 15. And watch what happens here. 5 goes into 15 three times. So really we only have 3 times 7. So really we have 21 times 10x minus 1. Bam! That's what the entire left side just become, became right now is uh, the 5 goes into 15 three times. So 3 times 7 is 21. And that's what we get right there. Same thing right here. 3 goes into, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, 3 goes into 15 five times. So 5 times 2 is 10 times 6x six, six plus 5. And now we uh, have made the fractions go away. And so now we just go ahead and multiply through and get this guy. So 21 times 10 is 210x. 21 times negative 1, negative 21. 10 times 6 is uh, 60x. 10 times 5 is uh, 50. All right, cool beans. Let's go ahead and um, I'm just going to go ahead and subtract 60 and, and add 21 all at the same time right here. So I'll get um, 150 is less than 71. Oops, x. So basically, all I did was I subtracted 60 from a 210 and I added 21 to 50. So then I divide by 150. So x is less than 71 over 50. You're probably thinking like, oh, sorry, 150. Like, what kind of number is that? Well, it's just a fraction right there, so uh, that's just the way it is right there. So our answer in interval notation, so x is less than, so that means the smaller it goes is going to be negative infinity, and the biggest is, uh, that it's going to get to is 71 over 150, but that number is not included, so we have to use parentheses because it doesn't have the line underneath it. So this is the answer in interval notation. Um, if you want to go ahead and write this now in uh, as a graph now you know draw the graph 71 over 150 it would look like this parenthesis to the left just like that 